Hi everyone, right, um, these next three videos that I'm going to share with you now, um, I've had gifts sent me by lovely, lovely ladies and I have apologised and I can only apologise that with me being so, so busy, I've not really had the chance to film them until now. And uh, so what I'm going to do for you now is share with you the things that they've sent me and I'm just... I get really overwhelmed and I know people, mm, but I do. And um, although this has taken quite some time for me to film them, I really do appreciate everything that anybody sends me, especially if it's handmade. I, you know, some people, um, I don't know what it is, some people who share how to make things, um, prefer people to buy them things and things like I don't want anything like that I I just as long as you're watching and you comment it shows me that you appreciate what I'm doing and that's enough for me but when somebody actually sends me something uh, a gift of some sort and especially when it's handmade then I'm just over the moon and I'm going to share with you this one first and this is from um, Lamrault from Coatesville. I think it's Pasadena. I'm not quite sure, but look what she's done. Now she does buy from me. And look at this. It, let me just check that you can actually see this in the camera. I'm just gonna alter my um, one. And bring the, oops, other way, see? Like that so that you can now why am i tilted for some reason i think i'm a little bit tilted sorry and i'll share that with you in a minute that's nothing to do with it but look at this beautiful beautiful i'm going to bring this out a little bit more like that um she's handmade me this bag and i just I, <laughs> what can you say she did actually get the doilies from me um, and she's put them and laid them and look at this they're just beautiful doilies I absolutely love them and she's made me this bag and I, it's just fabulous now I'm going on holiday shortly and I'm going to be taking um, I think I'm going to be taking this bag with me yeah and do you know what I feel like because I'm going near the beach <laughs> probably raining throw it down and whatever but um i'm gonna take that to the beach with me with my drink and sandwich in <laughs> when i take my dogs for a walk yeah and you'll have to excuse me because i am um i am definitely coming down with a cold again and i'm not surprised because one minute it's hot one minute it's cold but um i feel a little bit better today compared to what i've been feeling all week it's quite heavy that with the doilies isn't that beautiful so that is stunning thank you very much now she's friends are like stars you can't always see them but they are always there and she's made me i'm not a little bit bent in the post but never mind oh right she's put to fiona thanks for all you do finding clothes the spoons as promised also a bag to keep your doilies in keep well and remember you are an inspiration not only to me but to thousands of others hugs and best wishes jewels and that's Oh, Jules Edwards. See, I've not opened it then. I didn't even read the back of it, to be honest. I just took it out of the parcel, the package to save. Do you know what? I'm not going to take that out. I don't want to, because I don't want to spoil it. And I, I know that's been bent, but I'll bend that back. And she's uh, coloured, stamped, and added it to a card. A um, little bit of a doily, some flowers. Beautiful. I love the way she's done that, and my colour of course, purple, and the dragonfly has been embossed. So yeah, absolutely brilliant, love it. I'm, I'm not going to use it for doilies, I'm going to use it for the beach. <laughs> Sorry, but I am. Um, yeah, she did say, I remember now that she did say she had some spoons for me. Oh, because I collect spoons, so if anybody's out there, and I have to say, and I, I will say, if you have any old um ornate spoons that you don't want or that you come across and you don't particularly collect them yourself please think of me because i do <laughs> oh oh it's a little pouch i didn't notice that i thought it was a little oh my word look at these 
Why is it so heavy? It feels, look at this, see? She's done the, I think she's coloured it as well because we sell that in whites. She, yeah, she's coloured them. Oh, made little ribbons. Look at the doilies, the layering. Beautiful. Love this trim. I think this is one we sell and she's uh, done that. Yes, because I sell this and I sell it in whites. Yeah. And made the little pouch. That's gorgeous. And a little, oh, look at the stick pin. Now, I will be taking the stick pin off if I can because um, I have a collection of stick pins that people have made me and I sometimes use them on my projects. I absolutely love it when people make me a stick pin. Beautiful. Everything's just gorgeous. That's our leaf trim. We do have that in the store. The doilies. Lots and lots of layers. And of course the acrylics. And the trimming. Look. And that beautiful trimming. That's a gorgeous little pouch. It's quite heavy. What have you made it from? Oh, it's like je a jeans pocket. You clever bugger. <laughs> A jeans pocket that's just come under there. I'll glue that back on. Fab way to use up a jeans pocket, yeah. Look, denim jeans that's why there's weight to it. Be careful because some denim jeans are worth a fortune. <laughs> Gone to your American program is what I watch. Fantastic, I'm thrilled. And look at these wow, they are on it as well aren't they beautiful beautiful spoons oh my word i i know i use spoons in projects uh, but i'm very very reluctant to do so um and as long as i keep one i might use some in projects but i don't know i'm a bugger for spoons and i don't know where it comes from um my my mother i think it was had a collection and i got hers six of her sp no i bought my mother a collection of spoons and when she died i got them back um but i've always loved spoons and i don't know why and when we lived on the isle of wight these are beautiful by the way look i'm going to show you them when we lived on the uh, isle of wight there was a place there that sold a lot of spoons and i raided it every week and i got some beautiful beautiful spoons i just do you know what I think it is? I think it stems from when I was a little girl and my grandmother had the odd spoon that was um, on it and I just fell in love with them. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much. And I really, really do appreciate you taking the time. They're gorgeous. Little bling in them, look. Flowers. Love them. I just love them. <laughs> Can't help it. I'm just a spoon freak. But there you go. I'd rather be a freak of spoons than a freak of nature. There you go. Love them. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And I love the idea you used on this. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, I love my bag, which I'm going to take with me on holiday. So that says something of how I'm going to take it, doesn't it? So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll be back in a minute with another parcel. Bye-bye for now. And thank you so, so much for thinking of me. Hang on, because I've lost my bit. I can't do it. <laughs>